Hey everyone, welcome back to another Firebase tutorial. Today we are diving into a Firebase Firestore shop collection, a powerful way to represent and organize your data. In this video, you will know exactly how to create and manage your shop collection in Firebase Firestore. The main concept that we have focus and you will learn from this video that is how to create a shop collection inside a collection and even nested shop collection within a this shop collection that you have created inside the collection this is the collection you may know if you have searching the video of sub collection i hope that you have a knowledge of collection before we jump into a sub collection let's quickly recap Firebase and Firestore in one line. Firebase is a Google platform for building the app and Firestore is a NoSQL database. And Superbase is the SQL database and Firestore is the NoSQL database. Firestore organizes data in collection and the document. Inside the one collection, there are multiple documents. A collection holds document and is document. Is document can contain a field and even a more collection. This is the collection. This is the document of this collection. This document hold the multiple field and even the collection. This is called the sub collection. In real example, thinks of it like a folder inside the folder. This this collection is the folder. Inside this folder, we have another folder called course. This hierarchical structure is perfect for organizing related data like user profile and their post. I'll demonstrate you from the beginning how you can create one sub collection. Starting from here, start collection, give the any name of this collection. I'll give the data and after that you need to provide the document ID. If you want to provide the field, I'll just give the name a is the field of the document here we have the data is our collection and we have the document i'll add another document you can continue with the single document or the multiple document this document has name field and this document is currently empty data is the collection name it has the two document and keep in mind soft collection is always is in the document if you click on this collection you can find any option to create the sub collection if you click here then only you can find the option to create the sub collection i'll create it and i'll give the name of my this sub collection is data sub collection next i'll create the document id auto generated id and save it look like this if you click on data you can find the two documents here if you click this document this document hold one sub collection and one field and if you click on this document you can find anything we didn't add anything here and in this sub collection this is this data is the collection data sub collection this is the sub collection that we have created inside this document if you click here you can find the document of this sub collection from here you can add anything just id one two three and this is the sub collection of the collection and still if you want to create the sub collection of soft collection then you can also achieve from here if you first first you need to click on this document and you can get this option start collection and give the any name sub i'll give the name soft collection to and next and i'll auto use the auto id and save it from here this sub collection 2 is the sub collection from the sub collection not the collection if you click here this data is the collection this data have two document one is empty and one document have one field and one sub collection this sub collection have one document and this document have again the one id one field and one sub collection you can again create the sub collection of this document this is the hierarchical process if you want to structure data one folder inside another folder inside this folder you can also add another folder to structure the data just like human body is the one collection inside this collection you can add multiple type of sub collection just like sensible part of the body physical part of the body insensible part you can add the eye inside this eye you can also add the retina cornea and more human body is the collection sensible organ is the sub collection by this way you can create the multiple sub collection inside the collection and sub collection to structure your data then if you have created this complex type of structure in firebase then how you can face this all then we can also achieve in this in a 
our upcoming video in this video i'll only show you the model we have the faculty we have the faculty here and inside the faculty we have the course of collection and the name field we have the course of collection and the name field and inside this course of collection we have the multiple field and again one semester of collection here if you click on here this is the course and here one document inside this document you can again create the sub collection of semester that we have created in our previous collection data is the collection inside this collection we have the document and field we have the two document this document hold the one field and the one sub collection inside this sub collection we have a currently one document and this document again hold the one field and sub collection another sub collection by this way you can structure your data in firebase okay this is the sample model that i have created for you faculty is the collection and course is the sub collection inside the faculty collection and here is the semester again and semester collection inside the course sub collection by this way you can easily create the multiple sub collection and manage it inside the fire store okay that's it for today's video in next video we'll face the data from the soft collection